Hello good people, welcome to 247 Saga TV, the home of amazing and mind-blowing videos. Today we're talking about the expensive life of Rema and Charlie Poppy, their networks, biography, cars, houses and also who is the richest. Pity boys! On today's video, we'll be talking about the two Benin boys making waves in the Nigerian music industry. I'm talking of Rema and Charlie Poppy, the Benin boys' song crooners. Many of their fans will be wondering how rich they are currently, their luxury acquisitions, expensive lifestyles, their cars, networks, properties, how they spend and lavish their money, and some other hidden things about them. Well, sit tight and relax because this video will be answering all your questions. Before we move on, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please would like you to do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. That will encourage us to make more videos about your favorite celebrities and you also get notified when another interesting video like this is uploaded. Thank you. We'll be starting out with Rema. Before we talk about his acquisitions and expensive lifestyle, let's briefly look into his biography and early life. The Divine Nukubo, popularly known as Rema, is a popular and famous Nigerian singer, songwriter and rapper. He hails from Edo State, Nigeria. Rema was born on the 1st of May 2000 in Benin City, Edo State. Talking of his early life and family, Divine Ikubo was born into a Christian family of Mr. and Mrs. Ikubo. He had an elder brother which means he was the youngest of the boys. However, Rema unfortunately lost his father at a very young age and in the following years he also sadly lost his elder brother and he was left to take care of his mom. Rema completed his primary and second education in Edo State before leaving his home state for greener pastures. Talking of his music career, Rema started doing music from a tender age. He started out from the church making Christian songs and raps before transitioning into secular music in order to make ends meet. Rema's breakthrough came after he was discovered by The Prince through one of his Instagram freestyles. The, the Prince and Don Jazzy went on to sign him into their record label and the rest is history for the singer. Rema's breakout song was Do Maybe. The release of the hit track in 2019 changed Rema's life story for good. Now let's talk about Rema's net worth and the properties he owns. Rema, just like other big names in the industry, has been setting shows on fire both internationally and locally, including historically selling out the London O2 Arena in November 2023. So it's no news that he's one of the richest young guys in the industry. However, Rema is a very, very private person and hates to disclose his possessions to the public, but we have managed to dig out some expensive purchases and possessions. Rema's hidden garage is filled with multi-million automobiles. First is his 2020 GAC SUV, a nice and spacious SUV he got when he won the next rated awards at the 2019 Hades. Next is a BMW. Rema is reported to own one of the BMW car brands. The news surfaced after he first made a song with the car brand in 2020. Rema also went ahead to make another song with the car brand in 2022 titled Fresh Young Nigger. This showed the love the singer has for the car brand. He has been spotted with various models of BMW and we are yet to pinpoint his personal BMW. Record that Rema was honored by the BMW Club of Nigeria with the honorary membership award for featuring the brand in his song, Bima. Next is the 2018 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. Rema reportedly acquired a 2018 G-Wagon in December 2022. The logic car was said to have been purchased at 95 million naira at the time. He acquired the car shortly after the end of his music tours in 2022. The news was disclosed by the car dealership company. Rama's latest purchase is a 2019 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon and a 2020 Lamborghini Urus, which he bought in March 2024. The expensive luxurious automobiles were said to have cost him over 650 million naira. The 2019 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon was said to have been reportedly priced at 200 million naira at the time of the purchase. The 2020 Lamborghini Urus was said to have been priced at 350 million naira at the time also. Next is a Toyota Land Cruiser. Rema also owns a luxurious modern Toyota Land Cruiser. The expensive car was disclosed by his girlfriend, Justin Sky, when she took a picture of Rema's house garage. Rema also owns several jewelries that run into so many millions of naira. Talking of Rema's house, Rema owns a multi-millionaire mansion in the Hybro area of Lagos. According to reports, he also owns another house in Paris. From my estimate, a number of his sold out shows globally and locally 
plus streams and endorsements, Remax Networks is now estimated to be over 8 million US dollars. Now let's talk about Charlie Poppy. His full name is Crown Uzama and he goes by the stage name Charlie Poppy. However, his fans also refer to him as Pluto Presido or Elon Musk boy. Charlie Poppy is a fast rising and jam musician. He hails from Benin Edo State. Charlie was reportedly born into the Uzama's family on the 12th of April 2000. His younger brother is also a musician. He goes by the stage name Zero Deal. Charlie Poppy put his brother on immediately after he found fame and also got him side into his label. Talking of his education, the young entertainer completed his primary and secondary education in his home state and went on to study at Archie Polytechnic in Edo State. Charlie Poppy and his brother tried out several contents on social media to get into the night, including comedy, and many of them failed. However, Charlie Poppy got his breakthrough after his Elon Musk freestyle went viral on TikTok. The song turned out to be a hit and opened doors for him. Capitalizing on that, Charlie went on to release several other hit tracks that pushed his career further great. So now let's talk about Charlie Poppy's net worth and properties he owns. Unlike Rema, who has been in the industry for a while, Charlie Poppy just came on. He got into limelight in 2023 and he has been doing well for himself. Talking of his expensive acquisitions, in December 2023, six months after rising to fame, Charlie Poppy bought himself a Richard Mille watch. The luxury watch was reported to have been priced at 118 million naira at the time, which is equivalent to 250 million naira now. Charlie Poppy owns a luxury Mercedes Benz GLD 450 priced at 50 million naira at the time of the purchase. He also reportedly owns a Mercedes Benz Formatic A220 priced at 30 million naira at the time of the purchase. Of course, we all know Charlie Poppy is a lover of Mercedes Benz cars. He sings about it in his songs and he lives it in real life. Also, do you know that before the song Hello Moss, Charlie Poppy was dead broke. He had never entered a plane or booked a flight in his whole life until his first show in Portacourt. The Pluto Presido also revealed he was, he was paid 50,000 naira for his first show in Portacourt. Charlie Poppy made this known in one of his interviews where he talked of how he almost became homeless in Lagos. Today, Charlie Poppy is one of the richest young music stars out there. My people don't look down on anybody. In February 2024, Charlie Poppy shocked social media users after he revealed how much a new chain cost. He drops a tweet on X saying, 10 BTC, one neck. The new chain went viral with so many users doubting the artist. 10 BTC was said to have worth over 800 million at that time. The price of story behind the necklace is still sketchy. Charlie Poppy also made the news again after he gifted each member of the Plutomania team with custom made diamond chains worth so many millions of naira. Charlie Poppy owns several luxury cars and larger properties, and according to close sources, Charlie is in talks of acquiring a mansion in Lagos too. Charlie Poppy's net worth is estimated to be over 800,000 US dollars. Which of these music stars is your favorite? <laughs>